right, guys, that was a crazy meet, and I unfortunately had to do a group shot. I think I said that already. Um, but. <laughs> Give me a um, post <laughs> uh, Can I put that on? Um, yeah. we're, we're in the hotel. Why not? Guys can wear bras. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like I'm hashtag free the nipple or anything. <laughs> <laughs> can I put that? Yeah. Really? I don't know. I'm confused. Um, so, we are now here with Jamie, I'm oh, not sorry, Jamie, and Roxanne, Brian, and oh. uh, and not half Sharpe. Um, so, we need to eat now, and I'm changing out of Ryan, because I have a panel at five, and I'm not going to be Ryan uh, for the panel. So, time to change. So, goodbye forever, Ryan. I don't know if we're ever going to use you again. First thing out of the Ryan outfit. Oh, I have my name tag on, by the way, because uh, I'm doing my panel later. But anyway, um, I am in currently inside the Parks and Resort panel. We have Peter here because I forgot that I asked for two tickets and they just emailed me saying, like, I'm confirmed for a seat. And then when I was checking in, they were like, You have two people, right? I was like, no, and then I just remember. Wait, I asked for two tickets because of you, for you, and like they never told me that I actually got two tickets. So I got Peter in, and he was not going to come because I was about to take a nap in the bed at the hotel. I was like, and then Keith, I was like, what? Yeah. And I threw my clothes on really quick and ran here. That's why I'm a little moist looking. <laughs> so now we get to enjoy while we wait for everyone else to line up. We get to enjoy some Disney trivia. Like this section. Okay, change of seats. We are now in a better seat. Thanks to Tyler here. And we also have Scott. Do you mind being in the vlog? Hi, vlog. <laughs> Both at uh, Disney Interactive. And we also have over there Stitch Kingdom, but he doesn't want to be seen. So I'll be in so, front of him. So yeah. That's, Wait, no, he's right here. Yeah, he's right there. Hey guys, so I'm backstage here. Uh, let me move back. This is uh, backstage of the Walt Disney Animation Studios booth. But I'm not going to show around because there's proprietary information. Not really, but like, I shouldn't be showing what it looks like everywhere else. But we're starting our panel soon. And I have Doug and uh, Tom over there. And we're going up in just like 30 minutes or so. I'm nervous. Hopefully I get footage. And if it is, I'll put it in after this clip. So, two years ago, that's me. Uh, take note that I am doing a Disney point. Two fingers. Here we go. Oh, no, two fingers. Two fingers. Always two fingers. Or open palm. Okay, there you go. I filmed and released a YouTube video debunking the rumors that in the animated film Beauty and the Beast, Beast's name is not Adam. Since then, the video has gained some popularity and snowballed into many things, such as finding and forming new friendships with many, like my colleagues here on the panel today. And now, ultimately leading to this panel. So back to the question, how did fans end up believing his name was Adam? So many internet rumors claim that Dave Smith himself put the name in the first edition of the Disney Encyclopedia book. Since then, since the book is so old, it was easy for people to claim the references there with no one being able to cite it easily. However, we fortunately have the book with us today. <laughs> and I can confirm that the book contains no reference to the name Prince Adam. And so the next explanation that I found was that the Beauty and the Beast theatrical production on Broadway had used the name Adam. However, after asking our friends at Disney Theatrical and even the choreographer, Matt West, it was confirmed that the theatrical production did not use the name Adam in their script. So finally, the actual root to the problem of this myth comes from a CD-ROM game called The D Show, released in 1998. While it did say in a trivia question that the Beast's name is Adam, there are many reasons why this blooper did not make it, does not make it official. The biggest reason is that Disney did not even produce the game themselves. They licensed it out to a third party company and somehow that little tidbit about Beast's name got in. It has spread like wildfire within the community ever since. While I could go on for many more reasons on why people think his name is Adam, I think someone with more authority than me can simply put this Disney myth to rest. Someone like the producer of Beauty and the Beast. Thanks, Keith. Yeah, a lot of people have asked us about the name of the beast, and the truth is we didn't name it. When we were making the movie, Trip Wise, Gary Trousdale, the directors, and, um, and the team that made the movie, we all felt like 
it would be really weird at the 11th hour in the film, right when he transformed back into a human, and Belt's closing in for a kiss, and, and stops for a moment and says, what was your name again? And it just seemed like it didn't fit anywhere. So we decided just to call him the Beast, which seemed to work out okay, until years after the movie came out, people started calling him Adam. And I thought, okay, Adam. Um, and I called up the directors. I said, Adam, did you? Did, no, I didn't call him Adam. I didn't call him Glenn Keen. I said, Glenn, did you call him Adam? I said, no, I didn't call him Adam. Did you call him Adam? It was just always odd to us because if given the chance, we probably would have named him something French because the movie takes place in France and he's our homework and a lot of the elements of the movie are, are French. Uh, so we probably would have named him like Louis or Francois or Gigi or something that was French uh, to make him feel like he was part of the movie. Um, so anyway, that's a little bit of myth busting out there. We don't know anything about Adam. I'm sure he's a nice guy. I don't think he's in Beauty and the Beast. Um, but he seems to somehow be part of the mythology surrounding the movie. Uh, so that's it for me. Back to you guys. Yeah, Don has really big hands. That was live, right? That was live satellite, right? Yeah. yeah. Even though that's he's at the convention today, too, I think. <laughs> The magic of technology is amazing. <laughs> I just want to add that these two guys surprised me with that video, and I freaked out. Um, first of all, Don Hodge just said my name at the beginning of the video. He said, thanks, Keith. <laughs> and I was half awake in the morning when uh, Doug sent that over to me, and I was instantly like coffee, like that. Uh, but anyway, thanks again, Don. <laughs> and with that said, I think it's concrete that the beast's name is not Adam. Unfortunately, because of the viral status of the rumor, the name has made its way onto official Disney lore. For example, the name has found its way onto the royal guest rooms of Port Orleans Riverside in Walt Disney World uh, with this frame here. So they have portraits and silhouettes of the Disney princes. And unfortunately, the beast over there was labeled Prince Adam. Um, and the name has found its way onto many other placements such as products ranging from Violmation to dolls and other toys. Fortunately though, thanks to proper steps being taken to prevent these mistakes from happening, there are recent product releases out there that get the nomenclature correct, such as this Precious Moments release that includes the Beast in his human form and it is properly labeled Beast. And hopefully in good time, it will continue to be like this for every product launch since his name is simply The Beast. Uh, so our first, for our next topic, we have our first fun fact that doesn't involve a character's name. We have Doug taking the limelight. As you can see here, uh, we have a couple of the directors and a producer doing a little research right there. So creating an animated feature, even in the era of the computer, is a time-consuming, labor-intensive process that takes several years. So there are times when the studio's own past can help a production. For Beauty and the Beast, it's a well-known and often-discussed fact that the waltz at, from the end of the film was inspired by the waltz at the end of Sleeping Beauty. And there are times when you want a moment or two to connect the audience with a previous film. As we'll see when a shot from The Rescuers Down Under in 1990 echoed a moment from The Rescuers from 1977. Well, if there aren't any more questions, thanks again for coming. And thank you all for coming. This was yeah, a lot of fun. You, we'll see you in the future. Another one? Another day? Another time? Yeah. Next time. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thanks.
Over? Over. Okay. All right, guys, so I did not vlog anymore in the expo. It was already like six o'clock when my panel ended, and it was crazy. So we're here now in the hotel room. Um, here's one of the things, cool things we got today, like Luxo Ball. We uh, all got one. We all got one. Um, I don't know who this is, but um, it was amazing, guys. Today was the best day, and I had the support of all my friends. I wasn't there. Oh. Okay. So no, Josh I was, was there. I was in the back. Angie, and then like um, we had everyone else there. Like everybody came, and some friends that I haven't seen in a while. You all came, and many of the people from the meet in the morning. You guys came, and I just have to say thank you. Like sincerely, thank you to all of you. I ended up crying after, as you saw from the footage that Kaylee took of me after, because um, one of the followers told me that I was just like such an inspiration to them, and. That talented. I don't want to. I don't like saying that I am because I just do what I want to do. And if you guys like it, then you guys like it. If you don't, you don't. But I try not to give myself the label of like talented. But the that fan was very adamant about t ah, adamant ah. <laughs> um, about like telling me um, that I just needed to hear things like that and remind me that I'm an inspiration and there's very weird and emotional. And what are you doing? I'm Snapchatting you. Snapchatting me. Uh, and so I ended up crying after my panel and it was great meeting all of you guys. And I gave out all 300 buttons, 300 plus buttons today. And I did not expect that. I, according to Peter, I caused a fire hazard because there was a line wrapping around Disney Studios or extending through Disney Studios. I don't know. Did you guys see the, the line? Yeah, it was long. It was long. Mm -hmm. um, I was too busy giving out the buttons, but I don't know how the next the next expo will top this. So we'll, also, we see. sat 50 feet from Stan Lee and James Cameron today. Yeah, I did not stay that close to Stan Lee because I ended up coming in last minute with uh, uh, my okay. all access pass. Yeah. Which, what happened with you here? <laughs> I got tired. I wanted to pass out, and then I ended up going to the edge of the bed, and I fell. <laughs> you... Okay. Um, so that's it for the day. I do have a very special surprise for tomorrow, uh, for day three. It's our last day, guys. No more VIP valet parking. No more backstage entrance and all that. Mm. Boom, guys. This is happening. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, that's right. Today I am a Disney princess. Uh, so once again, open floor for us here at the D23 Expo. We have Peter and Kaylee here in the wee hours of the morning. And over there we have Josh and Angie. Here's the WDW radio booth and a whole bunch of artists. So we're just walking around. Today's agenda is, um, what is today's agenda? I want to go to Fresh Off the Boat to see the stars and also uh, the interactive panel. I need to see what they're revealing for Disney Interactive. And then it's a pretty much a free day and it'll be me as a Disney prince. It's very uncomfortable, guys. They had many technical difficulties. Do you like the, the wig? I actually styled this myself. First time I ever styled anything with hair. And I think I did a good job. I also have the ribbon, which I can't show right now. There you go. That's the ribbon. And um, all of this is made possible thanks to um, my friend Laura and her friends Joyce and Caitlin. So thank you guys for helping make this happen. Okay guys, so we are here and I'm already sweating and oh, this is not fun. It's only our two minutes actually. Um, here we are at the Fresh Off the Boat signing. First one's in line here with yeah. Gavin, Roxanne. Oh, let me focus, focus, focus. Roxanne <laughs> and Jamie and Brian. Basically, the Asians of the group wanted to be fresh off the boat. <laughs> the Asians. Uh, minus Peter. Peter wanted to go to Interactive, which I'll be going to right after this. Um, but fortunately, I'm first in line. Then I have to run over to Interactive. But I'm very excited. So, I'm not going to record us meeting them. Hoping that they're very polite people and amazing. But here's our picture with them now. So, fun thing about this line, if you take a look at it, it's mainly Asians in line for fresh off the boat. Asian invasion!
on moving on now. We are at Disney Interactive, and somehow I always get seated next to this guy. <laughs> and we also have Travis here. Hi. Travis, who do you write for? Uh, Discingdom.com, popfinals.com. Oh. What? Did I just do a sponsor? No, that was not sponsored. <laughs> Shout out to Disc Kingdom. Um, so we're here in Disney Interactive with this amazing view. It's a great view. Great it view. Is amazing. amazing view. You can see the screen so well from here. Oh, that's what we're going to really have. <laughs> all right, video update. Just finished the interactive panel. And we are now all eating here. So, um, I just used the bathroom as a girl. That happened. <laughs> and now I'm eating a hot dog. What happened? Did you use the men's room? I used the, yeah, I used the men's room. I didn't go in the women's, I didn't go in the women's room, no. Is that what you all just thought right now? <laughs> That's how you made that sound. Uh, there was like no. a dead silence. <laughs> I thought I used the bathroom as a woman. <laughs> so you sat down? <laughs> no, I did not. <laughs> cool! This is Devin, and I'm uh, on Keith's camera. Like and yeah, I don't really know what to talk about, but... <laughs> The it's line, for the, the line for the Disney store is like three hours, which is ridiculous. So I'm not looking over there. Three hours. Like three, three hours, just kidding. Like, I don't know how well this vlog turned out because it is incredibly hard to vlog carrying all of this on me along with this bag, along with this camera and everything. But it's... This one right here. Um, it's time to go home. We're tired. We're beaten up. This one is still making faces behind me. <laughs> uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this D23 series and I will have many more videos coming out. I am so backlogged on videos. Uh, many more vacation videos to come out with. Uh, so make sure you subscribe to me so you'll know when those videos come out. And follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, Tumblr. I got all of them, I think. So once again, bye from me, Brian. Jamie, Roxanne, they're blurry, there we go, and Peter, and everyone else that joined us throughout the weekend. We were a large group, so we kept splitting up whenever we wanted to go to different places. But here's the group that we're currently at as we're leaving. So once again, thank you, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!